We all could use some endorphins from uh, time to time. And that one of the best ways to get endorphins is through exercise. What are the other ways that we ourselves produce our own endorphins and, and basically our own opiate? What, what are the best ways to do that? I'm glad you're being clear about the endogenous opioids and not the exactly, other ones. Exactly. Yes. The ones that we produce this we ourselves. Do. Well, one that we're studying intensively now is music. When you listen to a piece of music that really moves you, wow. It, it gives you a chill. It causes you to suddenly feel transported. You just dumped a whole bunch of dopamine in your ventral striatum. And <laughs> wow. I knew what was happening. <laughs> and wow. And that is a whole field, music therapy, that has now gotten together with neuroscientists to try to figure out how to make this even better project I'm working on with Renee Fleming. And a lot of people are seeing this as a window, both into how the brain works, but how we could come up with something that would help people who are suffering from chronic pain or PTSD without having to take a pill. Listen to the right kind of music, you'll be much better. I have a friend who is a physician. He wanted me to ask you a question.